Also rolling things back in St. Louis County. The county executive announcing new restrictions to stop the spread of COVID-19. Fox 2's Andy Banker has a look at why restaurants and bars are the prime targets this time. There is a concern, especially in entertainment districts like the U City Loop here, that County Executive Sam Page is punishing all for the problems of a few. The owner of Blueberry Hill, for instance, says he has had no issues since reopening with new partitions between booths, those booths and tables six to eight feet apart, mask requirements. Still, Page says contact tracing of those now testing positive for coronavirus show large gatherings are fueling the spike in new cases countywide. A record 523 daily new cases just reported, nearly seven times the number from 10 days ago, the largest jump coming among people ages 10 to 30. So Page has announced starting Friday night a 50 person limit on gatherings, a rollback to 25 percent occupancy for businesses with a 10 p.m. closing time for all bars and restaurants, setting up a new process to shut down non-compliant businesses. Also, more prompt COVID test results with people self-quarantining as they wait for those results, plus required safe places for school teachers to quarantine if needed. Page's edicts may not seem fair to those who have been playing by the rules all along. It's not good for business, but I'll tell you, our staff has been great and, and the customers have been great to understanding that we're all in this together. This is one of those once in a century tragedies, really, that's going on in America. And, and if we don't pull together and show what we're made of, then we're letting everybody else down. The intent is to decrease the opportunity for the virus to spread among the populations where there's significant growth, particularly that younger population. The late night and early morning hours are the times when we see uh, less mask wearing and less social distancing and crowds that simply aren't complying with our social distancing guidelines. Page says the goal of doing all of this now is to allow kids to go back to school for in-class, in-person learning at some point in the fall, though he certainly does not recommend that now. In New City, Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.